Hello Pisces and welcome to another reading by the Blessing Foundry. This reading is going to be an intimate love read to explore your sexual desires and what might ignite your love life. If you're under the age of 18 or uncomfortable with sexual content, sexual words, or sexual verbiage, please leave now. This reading is not for you. Otherwise, if you would prefer to stay, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. All right, we will dive right in. Guys, guardians, angels, and ancestors, I'd be like and above. Please connect with the Pisces Collective, the Pisces viewers, and subscribers of this channel to get the message that Pisces needs to ignite their love life. Please be clear and direct in how Pisces can feel more desirable, how they can remove what is dulling their love life, what will help Pisces climax, and reach their full relationship potential and how to add sizzle. Here we go. All right, Pisces. Spirit, show Pisces how to ignite their love life. What can Pisces do to ignite their love life, please, Spirit? All right, guys. We're almost there. Feeling the cards, the energy of the cards. Here we go, Pisces. All right, so Spirit, how can what can Pisces do to feel more desirable? So we have the Two of Cups, Pisces. So this is definitely coming together in union with a counterpart or partner and having that love making and just feeling, you know, united with another person, having that connection. What might be dulling Pisces love life right now? And we have the Five of Swords. So if there's some type of ego or some type of underhanded behavior that might have been getting in the way of your love life. The fives also represent chaos and the swords are mental energy. So perhaps there might be some chaotic mental energy that's defeating you um, when it comes to your love life. Perhaps feelings of insecurity or feelings of, you know, not being enough or not being desirable or perhaps your partner is feeling this way. Maybe your partner is feeling you know, that they would like to be more attractive. And what can help Pisces climax right now? And we have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is a card of being trapped or stagnant. Um, so in order to come out of that Pisces, you know, cut off whatever might be hindering you in your love life. If you're having any type of insecurities or apprehensions you know releasing those are is what go, is going to help you feel more free in the bedroom what can help pisces reach their full relationship potential sexually and we have the death card so this is definitely a transformation um intimately and sexually pisces you know oftentimes we get stuck in a rut which might in fact be what we're seeing in this eight of swords being stuck in a rut but in order to reach a full relationship potential, really transforming perhaps the way you look at sex, we'll, we'll get clarification for these, but perhaps transforming the way you, you know, view intimacy or perhaps even taking a transformative approach to intimacy. You know, the death card also stands for a death and a rebirth. So perhaps you're going through a cycle of change as well that is influencing your relationships and its potential. How can Pisces add sizzle to their relationship and love life? And we have the three of pentacles. So this is definitely coming together and bringing your skills, yes, your bedroom skills to bear in an intimate relationship, or, you know, it could even be with yourself, right? Um, but definitely, you know, applying skills and working together with people um, or your lover rather, right, in this scenario. And we do see, this is a very, interesting position where he's holding her up it appears to be um that she's not even relying on anything else but his strength in this situation and how what how can pisces attract a lover and we have the page of swords so pisces using your intellect and your skills and abilities and messaging perhaps and i'm not advocating you know bad behavior or behavior that can get you into trouble but you know using your your um, prudence and wisdom, but also in a sexually um, 
connotative manner to communicate or to show um, that, you know, somebody is enticing to you. Also, if you know that somebody has been watching you, you can also, you know, play with that a little bit and, and really utilize your sexuality to attract a lover. All right, now we'll get clarification for these. Spirit, please clarify these cards for Pisces and show Pisces exactly what they need to know about this intimate love reading. And I, this this deck I'm using, I got from the Ukraine. Um, it's a Casanova deck and the cards are numbered a little bit differently. So if I pause for a second, it, it's because I'm needing to um, reflect on the numbers. All right, so Spirit, please clarify this two of chalices for how Pisces can feel more desirable. How can Pisces feel more desirable, please, Spirit? What can Pisces do? Okay, and we have the Death card coming out again and the, the High Priestess card. So this is showing me Pisces. You know, this is quite profound, actually. So also, this can be the card of Pisces and the card of Scorpio as well. So if you're, if you're a Pisces involved with a Scorpio lover, then, you know, this could say, you know, to have union with them and in intimate relations. But ultimately, you know, we're seeing that Pisces intuitively tapping into your subconscious and your intuition to really understand what your lover find is desirable and how to be more desirable. And you intuitively already know Pisces are very sensual creatures anyway. Um, and here, you know, it's almost like a, a death to the old and a rebirth, right? So using your intuition and figuring out how to transform. We see both in the high priest and this death card, both are wearing masks. Some both are wearing a, um, a top on their head. So they have some type of cover, but in the death card, um, the figure becomes much more exposed and revealed, whereas the high priestess isn't revealed. So using that um, duality between keeping some things hidden and having some things exposed will help to um, make you feel more mysterious and become more mysterious and henceforth more desirable to your partner. It's like just not showing all your cards, just being sexy but not overtly sexy. But, you know, keep them guessing, keep them wondering, you know, have the mystery. What is this Five of Swords for what's dulling Pisces love life? What is this Five of Swords, please, Spirit? What is this Five of Swords, please? What is this Five of Swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Five of Swords for what's dulling their love life, please? Thank you. And we have the King of Swords. So this King of Swords... You know, definitely we're seeing a, a mental space or some type of, maybe some words have been spoken, Pisces, that you keep running through your head that you're kind of beating yourself up about um, sexually. Or maybe, um, I'm not really getting self-esteem, although for just a couple of you, it might be, you know, being in your head about body issues or performance issues. But ultimately... You know, we see from the Five of Swords going into the King of Swords here. And the King of Swords is sitting on the throne, purely naked, out with the sword. It's just like, you know, in the Five of Swords, it's kind of like, you know, hesitant to remove the clothing. Whereas in the King of Swords, it's, it's just out there with it. So coming into your truth and being comfortable with the mental energy and the stimulation around intimacy will help to liven up your love life in your mental space right so what is this ace eight of swords for what can help pisces climax what is this eight of swords for what can help pisces climax please what can help pisces climax what is this eight of swords please what is this eight of swords please spirit okay hold on guys Okay, I don't know which one to take. Sometimes when I look at the cards, the energy is very clear and speaks to me about which card to take, but it wasn't certain for there. So what is this eight of eight of swords for what can help Pisces to climax, please, Spirit? 
What is this Eight of Swords for what can help Pisces to climax, please? What is this Eight of Swords, please, Spirit? What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces to help them climax? What is this Eight of Swords? And I just saw 1010 on the clock for whoever resonates with that. Thank you, Spirit. And we get the title card. So, you know, really being in a headspace. What is this? Okay, thank you. And the, and we get the Eight of Swords again. Okay, so this is definitely being in your headspace, Pisces. So um, when I get the title card, sometimes it can mean contracts or sometimes it can be just really pay attention. And here, um, what can help you climax, Pisces? Um, it seems as though there's a couple things. One, we were addressing the fact that if you have some type of negative hindrance or you're having some type of intellectual sticking point intimately, you know, overcoming that and rising above that to be the master of your thoughts intimately is going to help liven up your love life. What can help you climax though, Pisces, is to become self-empowered. In both of these Eight of Swords, we see... Um, well, in this one, um, we see the what appears to be a physician looking down at the man's endowment in some kind of questioning state. So if some of you are having performance anxiety, you know, just try to let go of that and become come into your power. If some of you are having issues about what your body might appear like, you know, it, it's okay. Self-confidence is one of the sexiest things a person owns in the bedroom. Being, you know, self-confident and, you know, owning your curves, owning your lumps, owning your bumps, owning, you know, wh whether you have a mosquito, mosquito bite, a grapefruit, or a watermelon on your chest, or whether you have whatever down below, you know, just coming into the owning and stepping up to who you are and the value you bring and being in that mental space of um, sexuality will help you to climax. And how can Pisces reach their full potential? What is this death card, please? What can help Pisces reach their full relationship potential? Please show Pisces what this death card is for the, how to reach their full relationship potential. What is this death card, please, spirit? Yeah, it's kind of like what lies beneath, right? Thank you, spirit. So we have the Fool card and the and the Four of Swords. So here, you know, we were speaking before about how to reach your full relationship potential. And that's, you know, to have this transformation and to have a new beginning where you're freed up and, and beginning to really understand um, the totality of what you want in a relationship. Fours are foundational cards and this is also the swords which are mental energy so really understanding what it is you would like to have in a relationship and how you would like to be sexually pleased in a relationship and also understanding how your your partner would like to you know receive affection or be given affection right or intimacy as well so transforming in in the approach you take but then also you know not being afraid to take leaps into new areas and new er ways of exploration and what is this three of pentacles for how pisces can add sizzle to their love life what is this three of pentacles please what is this three of pentacles for how pisces can add sizzle to their love life please what is this three of pentacles please spirit what does Pisces need to know about this Three of Pentacles for how they can add sizzle to their love life, please? Thank you. And we have the Strength card. So definitely, you know, remaining in your strength and in your power and going forward to bring your skills, talents, and affections to bear. Um, but definitely doing it in a balanced approach. And what is... This page of swords for how Pisces can attract a lover, please. And we have the magician. The empress. And I think that's the hangman. 
Sorry guys. Trying to, yes it is, sorry guys. Okay, so we have how Pisces can attract a lover. We have the magician, so definitely manifesting your nurturing and creative and being in the sexual flow. Um, and then also with the hangman, it's letting go of what in your inhibitions are, letting go of what might hold you back, but also it's gaining a new perspective sexually. The Page of Swords is a card of communication messages. So this can really be manifesting um, new rebirth and new ideas and communicating those ideas to a lover. You know, you could be very enticing and really draw a lover in by, I mean, the Empress is pure beauty. Again, independent of its, if it's male or female, it's just the energy, right? The Empress is so desirable. Everybody wants the Empress. And Pisces, you know, really using your, your sexual skills and your sexual knowledge and your Pisces energy, because the Pisces are beautiful, the Pisces are attractive. Um, but coming into the full um, sexual attraction that the Empress embodies and really utilizing that, to create um, new communications, new ideas, new perspectives, and new encounters in your love life. And that will help you attract a lover. You know, not being not being inhibited and, and flirting it would help too. Because sometimes, you know, even though Pisces feels everything and probably dreams of every intimate scenario in their head, they don't always act it out, which again, that isn't a bad thing. But there is, you know, sometimes it's good to, you know, be a little flirtatious or, you know, let somebody know that you're interested in an intimate way. And Spirit, can we have one card from this Desire is a God Oracle deck, please? Thank you. <laughs> and it's kind of funny how we were speaking about, you know, having, introducing new ideas, maybe having some flirtation, you know, just coming out of your shell kind of and trying new things with your partner. Um, and then what we get is eccentric. Let's get weird. So this is definitely a reinforcement of the fact of trying new things, playing. Um, I do see fire in the background. I'm not saying go burn crap down, but you know, have that passion, have that heat, have that sexy excitement. And one card from the exotic sex oracle, please spirit. One card from the Exotic Sex Oracle for Pisces for this reading. One card from the Exotic Sex Oracle for this reading, please, Spirit. You know, it does seem overall here, Pisces, that there's an opportunity to come into union with somebody and really transform and come fully into your Empress sexuality and have that transformation. Okay. So some of the things that might be inhibiting you is trust issues. Either you or your partner might be struggling with trust issues. And perhaps that's where this eight of swords of, you know, being stuck in your head or maybe having some stagnance or stag stagnancy or having reservations about, you know, going forward and kind of feeling stuck. Maybe you have trust issues from something that might have occurred in the present or the past regarding intimacy. Let's see what else. Erotic stories. So as we were talking in the Page of Swords and with the Hangman, you know, having um, sexual communication, having enticing words, enticing verbiage, maybe sending a sexy t text to your lover that just says, hey, baby, you know, or, you know, you get the idea. Um, but definitely um, having that mental stimulation sexually and then intimate moment. So what we're seeing is... You know, obviously we have the energy of coming fully into your empress power sexually, trying new things, transforming into new beginnings of trying new things, having that mental engagement with your partner. So you're, you're attracting them and adding sizzle and having that mental engagement is going to help you and them climax and really come together more, more fully in a... Um, higher octave of love and a, a more full expression in your relationship. And ultimately it's going to leave, lead into more intimate moments. So this is what I have for you for your Ignite Your Love Life Intimate Read Pisces. I hope it helped. God bless.